All right, so there's a couple items on your Harley Davidson that if they do fail, could leave you stranded. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm just talking about Harley Davidson's. These couple items could obviously leave you stranded on any type of motorcycle. For instance, say like a bad battery or say like a belt drive snaps that could leave you stranded. Not having maybe the proper fuse if the fuse blows. I kind of went over that in a, in a previous video that I put out. And I'm really not talking about, let's say today, the engine, transmission, or anything in the primary. I kind of went over those items, but there is one item that I have not talked about that I do have on this bike, and I think I have not gone over it. And if you have a upgraded, I'm gonna say clutch, especially the Evolution Industries clutch system, or if you upgraded your springs on your clutch plate, you should have done this already. Now, even if you didn't touch your clutch, you should definitely, definitely upgrade this item if you have a cable operated clutch. This does not pertain to a hydraulic clutch setup. So if your bike is 2022, that's when they went back to the cable operated clutch or newer, you should definitely change this item immediately. All right, let's go outside because it's actually, it's about 55 degrees in December. Are you freaking kidding me, man? <laughs> 55 degrees in the Northeast in December. That's absolutely insane. But anyway, I definitely wanted to bring this video to you guys because I really forgot to tell you about this. It was done a while ago and I should have mentioned this to you guys because like I said, if say a fuse blows, it could leave you stranded. If your belt, like obviously I have a chain, but if you still have a belt drive, if a belt snaps, that could leave you pretty much stranded. If you get a flat tire, right? A nail or a screw in your tire, that could leave you stranded. That's why I told you guys to keep all of the items like I have in my saddlebags right there. I have the tire repair kit, I have a pump, I have tools. I have everything that I need to repair a flat tire, everything on the bike. And uh, been there, done that already. I showed you guys that video. So like other than, I'm not really gonna be going over focusing on the engine transmission and the primary, but this piece, this component is so small and it, it's probably neglected to actually change because it's such a little thing, but this part breaks all the time. And if it does, you will have to call a tow truck, like period. You will definitely have to call a tow truck. The bike will not go anywhere. So I'm gonna show you guys what this part is and what I replaced it with, and I'll tell you guys exactly what happens. So I want you guys down below in the comments before the video goes any further, I want you guys to take a guess. What could it possibly be? I'm sure some of you guys will know what it is, but I'm sure the reason why I'm doing this video, I'm sure for the vast majority of people that do have a Harley Davidson are not going to know about this part and about how this part, this component will actually leave you stranded. And it's happened to many people. And I know a lot of people told me that this component broke and they're literally stuck on the side of the road. So can you take a guess? Can you take a guess? Let me know down below in the comments. I wanna see if any of you guys know before this video goes any further. But anyway, let me show you guys what that component is it is a small component. It is not expensive to replace. It's super easy to replace. And I fully, fully recommend you doing this if you have a cable operated clutch on your bagger. So this component is inside right here. So basically I am going to show you pictures cause I do not want to take my zip ties off, but I'm going to show you pictures. I'm going to put them up on the screen right now, but inside this, sheath right here. This is where the clutch cable is. 
okay? So if you have a hydraulic clutch, you're not gonna have that. You're gonna have actually a basically like a master cylinder running from your clutch and that's going to apply fluid pressure to the slave cylinder in the transmission and that is going to actually push that piston which in return pushes that pressure plate out. But this is different, this is a cable operated clutch and when you depress the clutch lever, it actually pulls on the cable and it in return goes down. That's where the cable runs right into the transmission. There's a lever in there that pulls, pushes a pin and pushes that pressure plate out. But in here, this is where you kind of have to disengage it. It's going to be yellow on the inside, as you guys could see on the photo. And then there is a red plastic little piece kind of when you do any kind of work or maintenance or adjust the clutch on a cable actuated clutch system, you have to disengage that. And then what happens is that red piece, it's all made out of plastic, the yellow sheath and that red piece actually hold everything together in here. And what happens is that those plastic pieces inside actually snap and break. And once they do, you will no longer be able to disengage your clutch because it actually holds the top portion to the bottom portion together. It's almost like a self adjuster. So I replaced that component with the fat baggers unit, which I'll show you right now that I have on the side of the screen. I just put a picture up. That's the unit that I have. Um, I'll leave a link down below to get lowered. They actually have that piece if you want to pick that up, but that actually removes the entire plastic assembly on top and there is no chance for that to break. So now if you do, if you guys have the Evolution Industries clutch setup like I do, they tell you right in the directions, they fully recommend you have to replace that piece with that metal fat baggers unit. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else, any other companies make something like that, but that's what I have in the bike. But like I said, Evolution Industries, they tell you, you need to replace that piece. And also what I noticed happens is when I did the evolution clutch system on it, what happens is if you do not replace that piece, it starts kind of self adjusting. And when things get hot, you cannot disengage your clutch. So I don't know if stuff stretches in there or it starts self adjusting, but you will burn out your clutch if you do not have that fat baggers piece in there that removes that plastic. It kind of makes it like a solid connection. There's nothing else to break. But you guys know that when you pull out that red piece that kind of locks the top and bottom together, you feel it immediately on the clutch lever. You cannot disengage your clutch. So that's what happens. That red piece actually snaps and breaks and then you're done, your history. Guys, even if you have a stock stuff in your bike, that is a super, super weak link in your system. That's like one of the things, I, I should have actually brought this video to you guys a lot earlier, but that piece, I would probably replace that like immediately. So now what happens is if you have, like I said before, super hard spring tension on the clutch plate, you know, heavy duty springs, regardless if you have an upgraded clutch system like I do, or you could even have the stock clutch system, but they do have heavier springs that you could put in there. Um, I would replace it because the harder it is now, because the spring pack, the harder it is to pull that clutch lever in, the more stress you have on those plastic pieces. So guys, let me tell you, replace that stuff immediately. Otherwise you can, can and will be stranded. And like I said, I noticed that immediately because I didn't put that in. Um, I replaced the clutch system. And then I think it was about a month or two later where uh, when I had other work done by Get Lowered, uh, I had them install that fat baggers component because I was noticing when the bike was getting hot, and I think this happened to me in Daytona, when the bike was getting hot, I couldn't dis disengage uh, the clutch. I couldn't uh, take it out of gear. I couldn't find neutral. It was a big problem. So I don't know exactly Maybe somebody, um, maybe a viewer knows exactly what happens. Does it because it gets hot or does it start self-adjusting or can it not hold 
Not sure what happens, but it definitely happens and you could have a big problem. So replace that piece. But if it breaks, you could be out somewhere, middle of nowhere, and that little tiny, I don't even know what it costs, maybe 20, 30 bucks, that little tiny plastic piece breaks, you will be stranded, call a tow truck, lots of money. You don't want that to happen. So there's another thing um, that Andre from Evolution Industries told me that also, if you're worried about the actual, um, how hard it is to pull the clutch in, if you go upgraded on the clutch system and you got heavy springs, if you got big power, um, I think a company by the name of Mueller, he told me they sell a, it's called an easy pull. I might actually do that, not now, but maybe in the spring. So what that is, is there's actually uh, stuff in here you're gonna have to take the exhaust off and it actually gets installed in there. I believe it's like a lever that gives you kind of a mechanical advantage. It, uh, he was telling me that it's supposed to actually lighten up the clutch pull by like 40%. So um, to tell you the truth, I mean, it doesn't bother me, I'm used to it. Um, you know, you just, you gotta, you gotta work out guys. <laughs> but uh, regardless, it is hard, it is hard. So some of you guys were asking me like, uh, is this Evolution Industries uh, clutch system like hard to pull in? Well, yeah, but you need the pressure on those plates, on those frictions and steels. If you have big power, that's the only thing that's gonna hold it. So if you guys are worried about that, I would definitely try out the Mueller Easy Pull, I believe it's called. Um, I might bring that to you guys in a later video. I might install it actually. Um, I probably will because what happens is if you are in traffic, your hand will get tired, definitely. Another thing that I will tell you guys is that you have to make sure you see this space right here. See how I could actually pull it. It's actually loose. You definitely need that space. You can't have the clutch cable all up really tight. Um, you definitely need some room there. I believe it's like an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch play. That's also what I noticed when I first installed that and I first actually adjusted the clutch. It was a little bit too tight. So those adjustments for the clutch cable, you could actually do right there. So let me know if you guys have that fat baggers component already. If not, I'm telling you guys, definitely, definitely get it done. But the bike otherwise, guys, is freaking amazing, man. I love it. Carbon wheels are badass. The brakes work phenomenal. They, the brakes actually, these brakes actually took a little bit to kind of bed in longer than I guess a smooth rotor would. They took longer to bed in, but now they work really, really good. The suspension is kind of uh, dialed in, I'm gonna say a lot better than it was after we, um, you know, lightened up on the preload. But the carbon wheels, let me tell you son, absolutely phenomenal. Bike feels like it, it gained like another 15, 20 horsepower. Super fast uh, for a big 800 pound bagger. The bike friggin' rips, the bike moves. Yeah, and that's, that's about it. So probably the only other thing that I'm gonna be looking to do to it is, you know, probably get that uh, Mueller easy pull on it. You know, I don't think there's anything else on Mad Max. Mad Max is a beast. Man, let me tell you, I have a company that's going to hook us up for the KTM Duke 890 build, okay? I can't wait to let you know who they are. Massive company, massive presence online. Parts are coming in. I'm just waiting for them. We are going to start building the Duke 890R. I can't wait. So many parts from their catalog. Uh, a lot of KTM power parts. Uh, this company has a lot, a lot of parts. So I can't wait to tell you about that and start building that bike up. Uh, but other than that, guys, have a fantastic day. Hope you guys listen and change out that part so this way it won't leave you stranded. And that's about it. I'm gonna go take a rip on the bike. Have a great day, guys. Love every single one of you. Peace out.